For the next few days, we're going to look at ratio and proportion. So you would have work on this or work done on this from primary school. And just to give you an idea of what the word ratio is again, so covas is ratio, August Corer is proportion. Now, ratio means uh, something like for those of you that have ever mixed a bit of cement, um, you might find that you have to add a certain amount of cement and a certain amount of sand. Usually we might add, for every three shovelfuls of sand, you might add one shovelful of cement. And we write that, so you've got three times as much sand as cement, we write that three is to one. Now that means that if you were to put in six shovelfuls of sand, you would have to put in two shovelfuls of cement. So that would be six is to two. But the ratio is the same. For every three shovels of sand, I put in one cement. So if I put in six sand, I put in two cement. And if you notice, six is to two breaks down anyway. Three is to one. You can find a common denominator and divide across. Essentially, what this is saying is that if you've got three shovels of sand and one shovel full of cement, in total, you've got four shovels. And three quarters of them are sand and one quarter is cement. Now you, you would use ratio a lot in your everyday language. Let's just say uh, you had John and Mary. If John had 15 euro and Mary had five euro, then John has three times as much as Mary. So break that down into the simplest ratio. So find a common denominator. Five goes into 15, three times. So that again is three is to one. Or you might say uh, someone has 20 euro and somebody else has 10 euro. So if you break that into a ratio, that's two is to one. And that makes sense because that person has twice as much as the other person. Now, what ratio, or in this particular example, what is the ratio of shaded to unshaded? So first of all, how many squares have we got shaded? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine shaded, and there are three that are unshaded. So nine is to three. We tend to write them in their simplest form. So find a common denominator. Three goes into that three times, and three goes into that once. So there are three times as many shaded sectors as there are unshaded sectors. Now, if I was to say a slightly different example, say if we had one is to two, now, that is the same as what other ratio? Well, that would be the same as two is to what? Well, this is half of that, so therefore, this must be half of what's in the box. So that would be four. Or if you had, say, 1.5 is to three, same kind of example, then that would be, so this is half of that. So let's just say we had, um, so what would go in these two boxes if we have the same ratio? So let's just say three is in here. So that is half of that. So this will be half of this. Now, if I ask you to write in the simplest form, so squeeze so firm simply. So write in the simplest form, say we had uh, 30, is to 70. So find something that divides into 30 and 70. Well, that's a nice easy one. 10 divides into 33 times. 
and 10 divides into 70, seven times.